Hello and welcome to Tizo Guitar, where I teach you all things guitar with a special focus on R&B music. In this week's lesson, I'll be showing you how to play Hours and Hours by Money Long. As always, tab for this lesson and others will be available on my Patreon page, as well as some advice and resources for beginner and intermediate guitarists. I would love for you to check that out. Anyway, you know what time it is, go ahead and grab your guitar and let's get to it. This song is in the key of B major. And we only need to know a total of four chords to play along. The first chord is C sharp minor seven. Next is D sharp seven sharp nine. Then we have G sharp minor seven. And our fourth and final chord is G sharp dominant seven. Now that we know all the chords, the progression is really straightforward. All we're going to be doing is playing the chords in the order that I showed them to you. So it goes C sharp minor seven, D sharp seven sharp nine, G sharp minor seven, to G sharp seven. And as for the timing, we're going to be strumming our chords on the one beat, basically following the snare and the kick drum. So for all these chords, we'll strum it and let it ring out at first, and then on the next one beat, we'll strum and immediately palm mute, like this. That's pretty much all you'll need, but I'm a big fan of throwing in some chord substitutions to switch things up a bit. Here's some ideas to get you started. Right off the bat, I know that swapping the C sharp minor 7 for a C sharp minor 9 is going to sound nice. So instead of this, we're going to play this voicing. And as for the D sharp 7 sharp 9, it's really common to play the flat 9 version of that chord right after. So we'll go from here to here. So, so far we have this. And I think for the final chord, we can swap out that G sharp 7 for a C diminished 7th, which sounds like this. You see, we still have these two common chord tones. Right? So we can do the C sharp diminished 7th. So now we have this. The cool thing about diminished 7 chords is that every chord tone is a minor third apart. So what that means is you can move that entire chord shape either down 3 frets or up 3 frets to play an inversion of the same chord. So if you want to get fancy at the end, you can add tension by playing that same shape down the neck, like this. That's all you need to know. That's all for this week's lesson. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and click the bell so you don't miss out on any future content. And if you love this style of music and you're looking for more personalized instruction, I do offer private lessons on Zoom. Check out the description below for more details. Thank you so much for watching, and until next week, keep practicing, keep growing, and take care.